Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again. If you're new to my channel, my name is Janice. Today I have some really fun, cute Halloween DIYs. So let's get started. Okay, for this first DIY, I took this Dollar Tree chalkboard stand and these um, witch's hat and this raffia and the Dollar Tree, um, what are they, window pane little stickers, and I'm going to make a cute little sign. So I'm taking this little wood stick that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm trying to match the size of the little chalkboard stand, and what I'm going to I'm going to take some of this raffia and I'm going to create a little broom for the witch's hat. So I'm just wrapping the raffia around the little stick and then I'm going to take some twine and then wrap it and then cut the end. Try to make it look like a little broom. So now I'm taking the little stickers and I'm going to use some Elmer's glue to apply it. It says the witch is in. Really cute. So here I'm trying to figure out what angle to put the little witch's hat. Now I'm using hot glue and I'm going to glue down the little broom looks so cute. This is so cute for tree products. And now I'm going to take the hot glue and I'm going to glue down the little hat. Look how cute it is. It's something you would buy at Hobby Lobby. It's so adorable. I love it. Okay, for this DIY, I took this Dollar Tree little car and these little skeletons from Dollar Tree and the clothes I got from Dollar Tree Barbie dolls and I'm using chalkboard black paint and I'm using some white ribbon and some black felt. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the little car with the black chalk paint. So now the car is dry. I'm going to take some of the Barbie hair that I took off one of the Barbies and I'm going to hot glue it to the skeleton. I'm doing this because she's going to be the bride. It was kind of hard to hot glue that hair to the skeleton without burning my fingers. <laughs> but anyways, um, so I'm just finishing hot gluing the other side of her hair. When I seen this, I couldn't stop laughing. She's one ugly bride. <laughs> so now I'm going to hot glue the dress to the skeleton. And I'm going to have to hot glue the dress because it's a little too big. Um, so, but <laughs> it comes out okay. So previously I put uh, little diamonds in her eyes, but I didn't like it, so I took it out. So now i got to make her wedding veil. I didn't have anything lacy, so I'm using this white ribbon. Um, I'm going to hot glue it to the top of her head. Because it's too wide, I'm going to start trimming it and cutting it down a little more. Now I'm taking the groom skeleton and I'm going to start dressing him. I'm going to put these pants on him. Um, they're huge, but uh, I took a little hot glue to tighten them up. Now I'm going to be taking his jacket and um, doing the same thing, applying some glue to tighten it up a little bit.
And this is what they look like so far. <laughs> Funny looking. So I'm going to take some of these diamond jewels I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to place four at the top of her veil. I'm taking a big diamond jewel that I got from Dollar Tree and just going to hot glue it to the front of the car. So I got these bats from Dollar Tree. I'm going to take two of them and hot glue them on the back of the car. Now I'm taking this Dollar Tree black string and I'm going to cut a couple pieces and hot glue it to the back of the car. Just like when you get married and you have the sign in the back of your car, it says just, just married. I did add bones to the string off camera. Now I'm going to put the groom on top of the car with a little bit of hot glue. So I'm trying to get them organized so this way they can sit on top of the car together. This is what it looks like so far off camera. I did put little skeletons stickers on the rim of the tires. Um, I think it came out really cute. Okay, for this DIY, I have two of them actually. Um, I took this Dollar Tree treasure chest, um, so cute, and um, these Dollar Tree beads and this metallic gray paint and the chalk paint. And I got the Witch's Cauldron and a bunch of skeletons. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this metallic gray paint and start applying it to the little treasure chest and then I'm going to alternate with the chalkboard black paint. So I'm just lightly dabbing on some of this metallic color I'm trying to make it look like a very old treasure chest that was just um, brought up on shore. Um, it's been in the water for a hundred years. <laughs> So now I'm taking the black paint and I'm going to do the same thing, just add a little bit here and there and to get the look that I'm looking for. scarf I got from Dollar Tree because I need to make the skeleton a little wrap around his head to make him look like one of the old pirates. So I took a piece of it and I'm wrapping it around his head and I'm going to take a little hot glue and secure it. So now I'm going to take some of these beads and I'm going to put them inside the treasure chest. Okay, so I'm taking these diamond beads that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm trying to make it look as authentic as possible. A little treasure chest you found coming off the ocean, sand. Now I'm taking these um, bat rings and I'm just going to put glue one on the side of the treasure chest. I'm taking some of this gold bead filler, whatever you want to call it, and makes it look like it's gold inside the treasure chest. Now I'm going to hot glue down the skeleton. He's so happy he's sitting on top of a pot of gold. <laughs> Thank you. 
And this is what it looks like. I think it came out so cute. Okay, so I'm taking this little witch's cauldron, this other skeleton, half of a skeleton. <laughs> um, I have to glue a head onto him because I ran out of skeleton. So I took this big headed skeleton and glued it to him. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a little hot glue and put a little bit on the skeleton's body and take the big skull and attach it. And this is what it looks like. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> So I put one of those little candles inside and I put some polyfill on top of it. Now I'm going to hot glue him to the cauldron standing up. So I'm going to place a little glue on his feet so he's um, tightly secure against the cauldron and put a little glue on his hands so it looks like he's holding it. And this is what he looks like. <laughs> He's so funny looking, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> so I'm going to take the same piece that I had used on the other skeleton. I'm going to make him a little scarf doodle thing around his head and make him look like a pirate as well. And this is what he looks like. <laughs> it's so funny. It does look like a pirate, though. I'll tell you that much. And here's both of them together. I think they came out really great. What do you guys think? Okay, last DIY. I took this package of prints from Party City and this frame from Dollar Tree and this white frame, but I realized I can't use it, so I changed it for the black frame. Anyways, these are the images that come with the package. They're pretty cool. You can use them or you can use one or two or all of them, actually. I'm picking one right now. So I'm taking the mirror and I'm taking this little blade scraper um, that I use for my car and I'm going to start scraping the back of the frame once I pick out an image that I'm going to be using and kind of get an eyeball of the size of it. So I went with this creepy guy image and um, I'm going to start cutting it out because it's a little too big. I just want a little piece of it shown on the mirror. Now I'm taking the scraper and scraping off the back end of the mirror so I can place the um, little image and it'll come through the front of it, if that makes sense to you. Now I'm using this black chalkboard paint and I'm just going to paint a little bit around the back of the uh, image, not the image, the uh, mirror, <laughs> because the outline of the image is black so I just want it to blend. Now I'm taking some of this antique beige and I'm just going to like kind of smear it around the mirror to make it look, I don't know, distressed, old, because you're supposed to use vinegar, but I don't have that special vinegar to kind of make it look old. I used a little bit of the black and did the same thing. Now I'm taking this um, Elmer's glue stick and I'm just going to put a little, back, little bit on the back of the image and place it on the mirror. 
Now I want to use the frame that the picture came with, but I realize my frame's white, so then I swap it out to for the black frame, make it easier. So here's the black frame that I'm going to be using. I'm putting everything back inside. And then I'm going to take my glue gun and start hot gluing around the frame and place the frame, the other frame on top of it. So I'm just draping over some of the hot glue and it looks like webs and just kind of draping it over it to make it look like old. <laughs> I'm taking another Dollar Tree frame and another image and I'm going to do the same thing um, but I'm not using a mirror I'm just going to place it inside the frame giving you options what you can do with these type of uh, pictures you can get. You can use any type of frame or you can just place them in there and just be done with it. They're really cute to use. So I had to use a little bit of the black to go around the inside of the frame because the picture was coming through. Now I'm just placing everything back inside the frame and then I'm going to glue the picture frame on the outside the same way. And this is what it looks like. I think they both came out really cute and really fun to do for Halloween. You can place them anywhere and very inexpensive. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I do appreciate it. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.